Welcome back to Breakpoint. Uh, obviously, this is not Breakpoint, uh, but what I have done is I, I spent some time looking uh, at most of the weapons, uh, their fire rate, damage, reload time, and magazine size. Uh, caveat, I have upgraded a couple of my weapons, so damage might be a touch higher than you might see on yours if you haven't upgraded them, but this should still be roughly in line with, uh, with what uh, the weapons are. Uh, so I, I copied this from most of these weapons, uh, you know, hence the locations from other people, and I've got uh, basically every weapon here that I've collected, including ones I've gotten from like side missions like the Gibson's M9 or the Raid, the CTMMG Ball. Uh, so don't don't worry if you're seeing weapons you don't, you know, you haven't seen, or if you're not seeing weapons you have seen. But I just wanted to talk about a couple of things. Uh, I went and computed the the uh, damage per second of these guns <clears throat> and the formula is basically uh, you take the damage and you divide that by 60 over the fire rate plus the reload time over the magazine size so if you look at this formula it's kind of neat because it tells you that obviously the higher damage the more damage per second you do the higher fire rate the more damage per second you do the higher magazine size the more damage per second you do and the lower reload time, the more damage per second you do. Uh, all of that makes sense, but it's just kind of neat seeing what that actual formula looks like. <coughs> and some interesting things kind of popped out. Uh, you look at, for example, the assault rifles that I have here, and they range, uh, I, have a, I have 11 of them, the, they range anywhere from 130 to 215. So that's a pretty good range. And the Coblin I was playing with, uh, and destroying those behemoths is 215, but so is the M4A1. So um, that's pretty awesome. Uh, partly uh, the, the damage is uh, a little lower, but the fire rate's higher and the magazine is higher. Even though it takes longer to reload, all of those things cancel each other out and you end up with the same uh, damage per second, which is pretty amazing. Interestingly, the M4A1 Assault is significantly lower. Now, of course, again, this magazine size is just read off the weapon specification. So if you change the magazine size on your weapon, that will change this formula. If uh, it, it usually also impacts the reload time. Uh, you know, a bigger magazine takes longer to reload. Smaller magazine reloads faster. Whether that makes sense um, compared to real gun, I don't know. But that's the, that's the in-game mechanic. Uh, so you can expect a comparable change on your DPS stat here. So today, I'm going to be trying this M4A1 out against a few uh, behemoths, uh, just to kind of see what it looks like. A couple other things uh, I want to note on this. Uh, the handguns don't list a fire rate, and the snipers don't list a fire rate. I might try kind of computing those myself. We'll see. But just thought that was interesting. Um, also, the... M4 in-game fire rate says it's one, which, oops, that's the magazine size, says it's one, which gives a ridiculously high DPS of 500, uh, but in practice it feels more like eight or 10 seconds, so I'm just kind of adjusting that to and to, to affect those numbers. And, I, and, it, and it looks a little bit more reasonable if you look at the other um, shotguns, it's kind of in line with what you see there. Um, LMGs, not surprisingly, tend to have pretty high damage and uh, the DMRs, uh, starting here, <coughs> are also, you know, decent. Uh, Scorpio Scout, uh, which I'm actually really liking, 146 DPS, not too bad. Um, but it is interesting that, like, if you're looking to put out a lot of damage, the snipers and DMRs are definitely not your best bet. Um, unsurprisingly, LMGs pretty much are, but of course, you know, you have to deal with uh, recoil. So let's get playing at Breakpoint. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is head over to this behemoth uh, in the eastern part of Restricted Area 01. I have not uh, defeated yet. Pick up an army jacket and uh, test out the M4A1. Alright, here we are approaching this behemoth location. So again, I've got the M4A1. I have turned off the uh, suppressor. And let's take out a behemoth. There it is. This could be stupid. 
Oh, it's really stupid if I pop up like that. Okay. Ooh, that was almost bad. Needing to reload is not good. Ow. Come on, come on. Oh god, no, not good. Alright, I think I was doing okay, I just got stuck by the side of that thing somehow. Let's try that again. Alright, let's head in and try this guy again. Crud. Come on. Don't you bloody run over me. Alright, approaching this guy again. I also put the compensator on just to give myself a little bit better uh, handling on this gun. a bit. Alright, I still have one of those blue things to take out. Uh, this place is getting annoying, I will confess. Shut up! I don't think it makes sense to tell a behemoth to shut up, but I'm going to tell it to shut up anyhow. Bloody heck. There we go. Uh, so as you can see, uh, after a couple false starts, um, as you can see, after a couple false starts, uh, the M4A1 is quite capable of taking on behemoths. I do recommend equipping it with a compensator. Because that definitely makes it easier to handle and lay waste to these guys. And there's my army jacket. That was a 180 plus uh, behemoth. Uh, so I think I have two more that I haven't destroyed. Uh, this 120 and this 140. So we'll just kind of go down and take them both out. Alright, approaching this next behemoth. There it is. Not wasting any time getting spotted by this thing. That's a fact. This guy's only 140, so hopefully it'll fall a little bit faster than that 180 I just took down. Oh, no, 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 don't run over me, please. Oh, God, don't run over me. Oh, for God's sake. I am getting way too close to these things. Okay, back on the ground by this stupid behemoth, and hopefully I will not um, get myself run over this time. That's one magazine. Two magazines. That 
that is less than three magazines, considering I missed him a good bit of that. Nice. Much better. I think one of the mistakes I make with these guys is that I will uh, knock out those blue things and not follow up with pounding him while he's paused. Would you climb this thing? Alright, and I think I have one more behemoth. I think this is the last behemoth I have on the map that I have not collected the plunder from. So, let's head over there. Approaching the final behemoth. This is it, folks. The last behemoth I have not destroyed. If you're enjoying this, oh god, and like watching me unable to land my, to fly my helicopters, do give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment letting me know what you think. I don't know why, but this one in like the snow environment kind of feels scarier. Even though it's like a only a 120 of a behemoth. Oh my god, that's that's part of the reason. What is this place? It's like Ah, jeez. It's kinda kinda a little dangerous. Also the floating uh, gun definitely adds something, I, I would say. Okay, one more magazine ought to do it. No. Fuck. Uh, I don't get it. That was a 120 uh, drone and uh, three mags killed the other one, so I don't know why three magazines didn't kill this one. I guess I uh, did not knock out the third blue one, the third blue chunk of whatever that loose thing is. That probably is why. Alright, uh, going again. Let's take this guy out. I have to catch up to him first. Quit running away, you little cowardice behemoth. Get your electronic butt over here. That's one mag. Don't run over me. That's not nice. That's a mag. There we go. Same story, same story. That's it. There we go. Yeah, I just uh, didn't get the blue one. So there you go. That is the third and final of the last behemoths that I have not taken on. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, give that like button hit and subscribe and leave a comment. And let me know what you're thinking. And uh, just as a little bonus, since those guys went down so quickly. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? There we go. Just as a bonus, since those guys went down so quickly, and since uh, this was just like th equipment themes and, or, you know, patches and gear, no weapon related things, uh, I do know where the handgun muzzle break is in Blue Viper Outpost in the northern part of New Sterling Province. So let's just go head over there and grab it. So here's New Sterling Province. Northeast of Lake Fraser and northwest of Cape Providence. So there's Cape Providence. So we're looking at the Blue Viper outpost, which is right there. So let's head over and get the handgun missile break. All right, Blue Viper outpost coming up. And this is a base I've never been to. Oh, jeez, how do you like that landing? I like how the helicopter slid through me. I put my uh, uh, oh, I can't put the suppressor on when I don't have the suppressor equipped. Put the suppressor back on. Uh, I think I'm just gonna put it on. Let me try that again. Okay.
Right, nothing to report, buddy. Okay, um, so there's the weapon attachment. Let's see how stealthily I can do this. It's like famous last words for me. Uh, I swear I can never do stealth. Although I am getting a little bit better at non-stealth if I do say so myself. I think I got him before anybody noticed. Should be a door over here. Excellent. I mean, I'm not going to be too worried about stealth. You know, I could be in my hooch watching a movie. But, you know, if, if there is an opportunity for stealth. Okay, so much for stealth. Stealth is out the window. There's also a uh, ground drone. That was close. Alright. Let's just take that thing out. Die. Okay. Uh, who else is on this base? Anybody? That was not much of a base. Uh, the gun, is there a door that's unlocked or do I have to drag a body in? Need me a body. My good sir, do you mind if I take your body and use it to open this door? I'm your heavy dude. Need to go on a diet. Excellent. There's the handgun muzzle brake. And uh, some more skill points that I don't need over here. I wonder if at any point they're going to extend the skill tree. I hope so, because that gave me two more. I have 50 more now, and I have absolutely everything in the skill tree. It would be really cool if uh, Ubisoft would extend the skill tree. Anyhow, uh, thanks for watching. That was three behemoths and a wolf base. Uh, go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed this, and subscribe, and leave a comment letting me know what you thought. I will see you next time.